Hey everybody, I'm back this week and we are going to make a big warming bowl of Italian wedding soup. So let's dive right in because it takes a little bit longer. So first thing you're going to need is a big microwavable dish that you can cover. Um, it's going to have to hold five cups of liquid, so make sure it's big enough before you start. What you're going to start out with is a tablespoon of olive oil. There we go tablespoon of olive oil. We want a fourth a cup of finely chopped onions. You want a fourth a teaspoon of minced garlic. Fourth a teaspoon. Just gives that a little bit of flavor. And then into that you want to put a pound of Italian sausage mini meatballs. Um, I got mine by buying a pack of Italian sausages, popping the casing off, and forming the mini and throwing the casing away, and forming the mini meatballs by myself. Um, I'm sure you can probably find mini meatballs in a store, but to make them this tiny and cute to do it yourself is fun. So give that a little bit of a stir. Get the meatballs in an even layer, and we are gonna get this into the microwave. We're gonna do this a total of six minutes, and we're gonna do it two minutes at a time, stirring it in between each two minutes so that we can, our meatballs can get nice and evenly cooked. Sorry to rush everything into the microwave, but it takes a little while. Um, oh, I hope you like my shirt this week. I'm sure you do. My friends Rebecca, Allie, and Rod uh, got me this for Christmas. They donated to the Kickstarter and uh, got me the t-shirt because they know I like wearing fun t-shirts for doing this. So, yay, Mystery Science Theater. Um, we can put our olive oil away and our garlic away because we are done with that. Just have to remember where I put the lid. After we do the uh, meatballs, onions, and garlic for a total of six minutes, we're gonna be adding four cups of chicken broth a cup of water, and three-fourths a cup of pasta. You can get, um, you can get orzo pasta, you can get the Asini de whatever the full name of the pasta is, it's little tiny balls, which are probably more traditional for Italian wedding soup. Um, I'm two years old, so <laughs> in a grocery store, I see something shiny and ooh, gotta get that. So I went with mini stars because I thought it was cute. You can see the if you look closely, you can see that there are many, many stars, but what you want to get is something that says it's a quick six to seven minute pasta. It takes about 12 minutes in the microwave because um, you're doing it with the meatballs and the pasta and everything. We're going to add a little bit of um, meatballs and onions and everything. <laughs> We're going to add a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And in the last bit of cooking, we're going to add two cups of fresh chopped baby spinach because that's the yummy stuff. Okay, I am going to get ready to stir this. I'm going to take it out and set it right here on the stove. I don't want to be going it over here the whole time. More likely I would drop something. Okay, so our first two minutes is over. You're going to start to hear a little bit of sizzling and the outside meatballs are going to be a little bit cooked. That's why we want to give it a stir. Okay, I'm gonna pop that in again. Again and again and again. Because <laughs> we cook it two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Add all our extra stuff, and then we cook it for four minutes and four minutes. Add the spinach and do it a last four minutes. And then you have a big old bowl of Italian wedding soup that you can uh, get a ladle. get any sort of muggy cheese. Usually I get for my Geekier mugs, but I just got this cow mug at the dollar store and since I'm a dairy farmer, I saw it and I went, I have to buy the cow with glasses mug. And you can get, where's my little grater? There's my grater. You can get a fun little grater and get yourself some fresh Parmesan, not the powdery shaky kind, like some fresh Parmesan. Uh, whether you get a block and shake some over the top,
I'm throwing caramels. But I got a uh, fancy block of Parmesan this time because I felt like being fancy. And um, once you're done, you put it in your mug or your bowl. You can shave the Parmesan over the top and make it fancy and yummy. Probably hear a little bit of popping and snapping in there. That's just your onions and your meatballs cooking. About 30 seconds and we'll give it another stir. And we have to stir it every so often just to keep things cooking and rotate it around and make sure everything is done. 20 seconds. I've tested this recipe a couple times and it turns out so good every time. I like to make, uh, make sure I get all my tweaks and everything in before I show you guys the perfect recipe. <coughs> okay. And watch as you're doing this because the bowl is going to be getting hotter and it will steam when you take the lid off. I don't want anybody burning themselves. Towards the end you'll see that we definitely will end up getting um, our hot pads out. You should have most of the meatballs are going to have a nice brown color to it. I'm separating a few of the meatballs. Some of your meatballs might still have some paint, so I move those to the outside closer to the side so they'll cook a little more. <coughs> Put it in for our last two minutes of cooking. Now is when you need to have your chicken broth, your pasta, your seasoning, and your water ready because we're going to bring it over here and cook it. You can see it takes a little while but it um it's small tiny increments of time as we go because two minutes two minutes two minutes four minutes four minutes four minutes it's not as long as it seems i think you might take more time prepping for this one because i pre-prepped everything the only time i think it takes a little while is forming all the mini meatballs i think i spent maybe 15 20 minutes prepping it but totally worth it because it's a big old bowl of Italian wedding soup that you didn't have to sit and cook over the stove. You made it in a microwave. Sorry, new shirt, I just took it out of the bag, so. But thank you guys, this dude. Um, of course, that's my friends from the Geek Girl Project, so yay, go us. <laughs> Say yay, go us. Trying to think of other stuff to talk about tonight. I'm just here being oh, my usual geeky self. Feeling time, feeling time. Cat's lazy tonight. You probably don't hear toys jingling in the background because I'm filming this later in the evening. Um, just because it's a longer recipe and this is when I had time at Quiet House to do so. Um, I wanted to do a nice warming soup because it is like 19 degrees before wind chill out. So it's freezing and it's calling for... Uh, more stormy weather this week, so wanted something nice and warm and filling that you could try while you might be stuck at home. Ten seconds and we're going to pop this over here. Give it a stir, add all our stuff, and get it quick back in the microwave. Okay, so per usual, careful when you take it out. Now I'm going to tell you, you will probably at the six minute mark need your hot pads. Ta-da! And you will see steam. I want to take this off of there. Well, you might not see steam on the camera. Trust me, there's steam. Give that a stir. All your meatballs should have a nice brown color to them. So go ahead and toss your, or pour, your water. Carefully pour your chicken broth, because that is four heaping cups and it could be easy to uh, spillage. There we go. We got our chicken broth. Now we have our three-fourths a cup of tiny quick cooking pasta is really your only uh, guidelines for that one. Now get your, providing you can pick up your measuring spoons, get your teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Give that a good stir. Careful good stir, I should say. It's gonna look it's looking so yummy. 
Okay, once you get all that stirred up carefully, don't want to be splooshing it everywhere. Put your lid back on there. Sorry, I'm trying to do this without uh, dropping the lid and burning myself because it, it is still a little hot. We're going to pop this back in for four minutes. Yep, we're going to do four minutes, four minutes, four minutes, and then it'll be done. It takes a little bit longer just because pasta. That's why we get the tiny little quick cooking ones. And it's a point where, of course, you can start cleaning up. Garlic can go back in the fridge. olive oil back. Mine goes in a lower cupboard. Toss out the empty pasta box. It's empty because I, uh, of course, have made this a couple times already. Rinse out my big measuring cup. How's everybody been uh, weathering this crazy weather? <laughs> it has been so wild here. Um, there was shorts, t-shirts, flip-flop weather, and now it's 19, 20 degrees. And calling for crazy storms. I'm telling you, it is all over the place. I'm not a happy camper about it. We even had more snow, which was like, oh, more snow. I sound whiny, but I really don't like snow, I guess, because like I said, live and work on the farm, so uh, having to work in the snow will really turn you against it. <laughs> okay, we've got about two minutes left before we do our first uh, set it out and stir. Um, you, if, you can, if you're tall enough to reach in and stir it without taking it out of the microwave, be my guest. <laughs> my 5'4 self cannot, uh, without a stool, cannot get up on there and I don't need to fall on a stool on camera. Wouldn't that just be hilarious? Oh, you guys might enjoy it, but mm, might be a little rough for me. So did anybody else snag any Emerald City Comic Con Pops this past week? I was in at Hot Topic the minute they opened the past Thursday so I could get my World War II Captain America. This thing is so cool. When I saw it was coming out and that it was going to be at Hot Topic, I'm like, gotta get it because it's like, his, that, this is honestly my favorite outfit of his. I mean, he's got the banged up shield, he's got the goggles, the leather coat and pants. Oh, if you take this out of the box, and I did for to just to look at it and everything, it's so cool. Got just the cool markings on the back, you can see him there on the side. I had a blast getting this one. I got a few other ones on order from Emerald City Comic Con, but nothing as awesome as this one. Now the Green Arrow Black Canary Dorbs 2-pack. Big fan of that one. Because of course Green Arrow, classic Green Arrow. Not that I don't like the modern one, but classic, come on. So I'll be excited to get that one. But it's Cap. Okay, get yourself ready to stir again. Careful, careful, careful. Stir all your meatballs. And pop that back in. Okay, at the end of this four minutes, we are going to take our 
chopped up baby spinach, two cups, and put it in and then do it for the last four minutes. And then we're gonna bring it out and I'm gonna dip myself a bowl and spread some cheese over it. Now if you're doing it at home, you don't need to start eating it right away because it's going to be really hot. Which means I probably won't eat it <laughs> right in front of you guys because I do value my taste buds because of what I do. <laughs> I, if you are doing this at home, at the end of the uh, last four minutes, at the total of the 12 minutes with the pasta in, you can take it out, set it on the stove, let it set for five to 10 minutes. That way you're guaranteed you aren't gonna be scorching your taste buds off. Just a tip. Now I used a sweet Italian sausage to make my meatballs. Um, you can use a mild, regular. If you like the hot Italian sausage, be my guest. I'm not a fan of anything quite so spicy like that, so I didn't, but uh, that would be your own personal preference. I'm just not one for spicier foods. <laughs> Cat tried to get me. I don't have her down here, or I would show you guys the other pop that finally came in this week on pre-order. I got my uh, Think Geek Black and White Bombshell Harley. I consider myself super lucky to have snagged that one, just because if you ordered it online, your order probably got cancelled. But I was lucky enough, um, I was in a GameStop in the mall, EB Games technically in our mall, same thing, and uh, one of the girls I talked to a lot that works there said, oh you can pre-order it here. I went, yes, and then it finally came in and I consider myself super lucky to have gotten it. Maybe I'll remember to bring it down next time. I'm not running upstairs to get it now. Although I did have it out of the box the other day. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you can see that um, once, like once a day since my new baby Pete Gomez hatched, my little chicken, I've been taking a picture of him with various pops or uh, Titan vinyls. I don't know how crazy he is about it, but he is the ultimate perfect model. Um, maybe if he's a little bit older, I will bring him up and have let you guys meet him. But for now, he's a little peep and he needs to stay down in his warm brooder, which is in my basement. It's not a cold, dank basement. It's a nice little basement. But uh, his, he's down there in the brooder with his buddies that I bought him. So, one more minute. We're going to get it out, uh, give it a stir, add our spinach, stir it in real quick, and do it for the last four minutes. And then I will dip myself a bowl, show you how I spread the Parmesan, and then I will go and enjoy that while you guys try this. I do recommend, like I said, letting you guys can let it covered on the stove for a while to cool down just a smidgen. No burnt taste buds. I'm always amazed. See, now she's active, my cat. <laughs> I'm always amazed at what she'll play with. I don't even know what that's a piece of. Why buy her toys? She'll play with a twist tie all day long. 10 seconds and we're gonna get on into this. Thank you guys for bearing with me for a slightly longer episode, but I promise you it's so worth it, right? I mean, Italian wedding soup. If you know me, you know I'm a huge fan of soups in general. This is starting to smell so good. So, go ahead and take your lid off. Careful of the steam. Mmm. Italian seasoning. Okay. Now, spinach. Two chopped up heaping cups. I use baby spinach just because I think it's nice and tender and yummy. Get that stirred on in there. You can see your pasta starting to grow a little bit, which means it's almost done. Get that stirred on in there. You want all the spinach nice and combined. Get your slightly hot lid back on. Drop your hot pad on the ground. I'm 
making this for myself, so I picked it up off the ground. I'm using it. Don't recommend that if you're cooking for other people. And go ahead and put it in for your last four minutes. And uh, because we've been doing this for like almost about, what did I say, 18 minutes now, it really, that's how the meatballs get completely done and good. It's how the pasta gets completely cooked. I've had a few people ask me another, um, well, one person on another episode, why do you have to do it for so long if you're throwing just this in and this in? I'm like, well, you want it to get completely cooked through. You're not just heating stuff up in the microwave. Complete misconception that all microwave can do is heat up. We are cooking in the microwave. We've been doing this for, what, 162 episodes now? I think I have proven by now that the microwave is not just for heating stuff up. It is for cooking. Anybody can cook. Anybody can cook good meals. You can even do it in the microwave. I personally love the Food Network. I watch a ton of competition shows and I get a little upset because they malign the microwave up one side and down the other. It's like they don't realize you can cook in the microwave. It is not just a cheater's way, cheap pull out. No, it is a good, sensible way to cook if you don't have a stove or you don't have time to sit there and use a stove. You can tell I'm a little bit passionate about that because I I do hate how the microwave can get a bad rap sometimes. Oh, you're ruining the food, you're taking nutrients out. No, you're not. <laughs> Nothing in here is getting wiped of anything. It is just getting cooked and combined into yummy Italian wedding soup. cups. You can tell this is one of my uh, more involved recipes because I use so many measuring cups and fresh good ingredients. So if you guys, like I said, if you have any requests, any comments, please send them. I will take anything you tip like. Just keep it polite or I will delete. I've had to do that lately. I've had a couple snides. I just brush it off. Keep cooking for you. I mean, hi to all the people from the NWV group. Um, hopefully you guys will just want to share it to you. I know a couple of you expressed interest in it, and I just now I've got it ready to film for you guys. A minute and a half, a little less, and we are going to be diving on in. <laughs> Cats playing with brown paper, it's a hoot. <laughs> Got my cheese, my grater at the ready. You can use a smaller grater, a bigger grater, doesn't really matter. Bigger cheese grater. I just can't remember where I got these. I can't remember if they were a gift or I picked them up at the one cooking outlet store. I don't know. <laughs> it's a mission we grated parmesan cheese. It's like five bucks for this block, but it is good, the good stuff, so I can't be like too upset. I do like to shop on a budget at times, that means I can get more stuff. Almost done, almost done. Thanks for sticking with me this long. I'm gonna bring this out, I'm gonna put it over here on the counter, and then I'm gonna scoop it out to show you guys. I would love to like tilt it and show you guys, but I don't need to spill hot soup everywhere. Hot beds at the ready. Okay, our Italian wedding soup is done. It smells so good. I just don't want to steam burn my face. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a good stir. Oh, that looks so good. Everything's perfectly done. Okay, where did I put my dipper? You see, we've got meatballs, pasta, spinach, all the good stuff. 
Yum, 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 yum. It has. Careful when you're pouring it. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. I'm gonna set it down because that's so good. I'm gonna get my cheese out. So I get so excited when a recipe turns out so good and so yummy. You just go ahead and grate some fresh Parmesan right over that. As much or as little as you would like. Whatever suits your geeky little heart. And you don't even have to be geeky to enjoy it. I just am. <laughs> I'm gonna get my spoon, which I set somewhere. It is really, 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 really hot, but you can see how gooey, ooey, and good this looks. Get yourself a little meatball in there with that. I don't know. That is phenomenal, but really, really hot. I'm gonna let this cool down a while. Um, you guys, thank you for watching and putting up with me for this long. You know how much I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Have fun geeky adventures this week. Thank you.